listen to that song, uh, Hello by Pop Smoke. Uh, just has the perfect beat of like a classic hip hop style song with just some nice lines and smoothly delivered verses and has the makings of basically a classic, classic song and puts you in a place, it puts you in a very specific place. Um, a place where you can come to that flow state where even your own thoughts can sort of open up and start to flow and you can start to think about various ways and sort of connecting them, creating that narrative, letting the thoughts flow out. You know, that's the, that's the beauty of music, the power of music. You know, when, when the music hits, you feel no pain, something like that. You know, it's not necessarily that you don't feel pain, but it can open things up for you where previously it was locked up. But now once you hear that beat and you hear that verse and you hear a person creating that flow, <clears throat> then even you get start to think that maybe it's possible for myself to do the same thing. It doesn't have to necessarily rhyme. It could just be the expulsion of words that in a certain course that just makes sense. And it's just the it's capturing whatever's going on at that minute in time. And that's what's important. It doesn't have to necessarily mean a whole lot. It could mean very little. It could mean so little, but still mean so much, you know? Same things that what he's saying. What he's saying, in actuality, the meaning is, is almost nil, but in that moment in the verse, with the beat, it means a lot. And in fact, it's got millions of people thinking the same. So we're at it, we're at it again. <clears throat> Things slow down, but then they speed back up. Uh, patients show up bleeding, um, out of options. IR is an option. IR is sometimes the only option. Did a tips. Uh, patient got better, then got worse. Uh, partner went in, um, extended the tips, modified the tips. And we're thinking about other things. We're thinking about what can we do, what's possible. Um, how do we save this person's life? And sometimes all we can do is throw the kitchen sink. Um, sometimes that needs to be done. In fellowship, I saw that done multiple times. I saw very highly trained, highly intelligent people throw the kitchen sink at patients. And a lot of times that did it. A lot of times the patients responded to that. Just every single option being exercised and that helped. That being said, sometimes it didn't work. Um, sometimes the patient eventually succumbed anyways, but that was an environment which it was okay to do that. And when you see these patients and you see uh, how close to death they are and how few options they have, it starts to make sense that maybe doing everything is the right thing. Um, if the family is on board, if, if everybody else is on board, uh, we can do those things. And you know, we you try to think what's the worst that could happen. And as long as you're accounting for that, then maybe maybe it's reasonable pro to proceed in that manner. Um, yeah, mind's active again, thinking, thinking through these things, thinking about portal hypertension, which is a complex thing. It doesn't really make sense always. The numbers don't always make sense. You, you, do, these, you do these measurements and the measurements don't sense. The measurements don't make sense. The, physiologically, what you're seeing counteracts the numbers. So it really, it really makes you wonder what it is, what you think you know about the disease process. Uh, ultimately in IR, in vascular IR, we're either trying to increase the blood flow or we're trying to completely close it off. And somehow manipulating those two variables, increasing the blood flow or closing off blood flow, hopefully we can modify things internally to a point where the body system is able to do what it needs to do to sort of preserve life to sort of preserve the function of the body and if we can if we can make those minor manipulations you know procedurally safely if we can do that and put the body in a state where maybe it can start to heal itself then i think there is a future for that patient and i think that in the combination of us working together i think we have created that for the patient and i feel good about that and we've done it you know hundred miles away from a large liver center. We've done that. We've proved that. Uh, I've proved it to myself. And 
I think that's important. So, with that being said, I've got some FNAs and paras waiting for me in there. I'm gonna get to it, Sarah Gomdi.